Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And really looking forward to bringing you live action from the Hero Indian Super League. It's Jamshed Poor against Mumbai City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And now they get the ball rolling. A really effective shielding under pressure. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And providing width. Now he must favour the cross. To jump in front. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Sawyer. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. A very effective challenge put in. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. Well, he's given us away. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good work by the keeper. And there's the delivery. The clearance wasn't decisive. Not a time for cool heads. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Gives it a go. Vital intervention. And that's not going to worry the keeper.
trying to really get at the opposition here. Is it going to be? And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And he stopped them in their tracks. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Well, he's lost it. Sawyer. Well, the attack looks promising. And it's a quality pass. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Stewart. Now well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Can he find the right pass? Spot on with that tackle. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. So there goes the half-time whistle. It is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors. They find themselves on top, Stuart. Well, we talked about their scoring record at the start of the game and it's been the same old story today. Far too strong, far too dynamic for their opponents and clinical when they've had the chances too. I just can't see there being a response, if I'm honest. And the match begins. To jump in front. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good work by the keeper. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good work by the keeper. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, good work by the keeper.
So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well, high marks for that pass. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Corner given. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Trying to deliver it accurately. Clattered away. He has time to play it over. A good and fair challenge. And does well to keep it in play. He's lost it. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Well, certainly, and here they are passing the ball around once more. Stewart, intelligent threaded pass here. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Now, options are plenty. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. getting the ball forward but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end timely intervention and he saw the situation developing Tremendously strong in the tackle. Stewart. Nicely cut out. Ten minutes to go. A move of promise on the flank. Fine cross into the middle. Could reduce the deficit, and the keeper there to deal with it. So a personnel change then. So the corner played into the box. Well, not cleared away completely. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could be a chance to break here. Not quite the counter-attack that they had in mind. Excellent defending. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. A 
A glorious chance. Oh, did so well to deny him. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Elects to go short. Terrific block. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game and once again they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.